Hello everyone, how's it going? Uh, welcome to the Beginner's Guide for Darkness Rises. And uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to be as concise as possible. I won't mean that I don't take too much time, but don't hold me to that. Alright, so anyways, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna talk about is what character you should play first. Like, what's their, um, yeah, what's the first character, basically. And simply put, it's whatever you want to play. There's not a particular um, class that is superior to the others. I think um, you can argue that Warrior is makes PvE content a little bit easier. <clears throat> and I think Berserker, for me personally, is probably the hardest one to pl to, for like to comfortably clear the stages. But I don't really like Berserker. So that might be part of the reason. I'm not really that excited when I play them. Eh, whatever. But yeah, it's just not my playstyle. It's, it's a little bit, it's, it's a little bit, it feels kind of slower than what I'm used to. My main is, as you can tell, is the assassin who is the exact opposite. She's she's very, she's very mobile, she's very fast, she has very quick attacks. They're not the highest damage, but they're really fast. And that's just my playstyle, personally. I mean, this, I mean the game doesn't have archers or hunters or whatever you want to call them, which would be my preferred class, but this is my second go-to. Which, uh, speaking on that, I'm, I'm kind of predicting that they're going to add another class to this one, because they've always had a head in archer. I, I feel like they should add an archer to this one at some point. I mean, in the previous game, I think, what was it called? Darkness Reborn? They added the archer, I think, like a few months later, I believe. So, you know, something, something to look out for. So now that we're done with that, okay. So the next thing we want to talk about is the events. You know, obviously you want to make sure that you do the events whenever they come up, and you want to make sure that you claim the rewards. And in, as far as I know, it in two different places. Now, uh, I think we'll go there right now. Now, in this game, there's a lot of events, so, you know, there, there's always something going on. Which is very nice, which is very nice, especially to, uh, like, uh, the free-to-play players, and even play to pay-to-play. That was very difficult to say. Alright, anyway, so, up top... Okay... Looks like I don't get to show... Alright, so basically on the top right corner, you can see that's your currency, that's your like event currency, I don't really know what it's called. Red, white, and blue. And you just click on one of these, and it'll give you the quest. So you need to gather points, you know, 10 points for an end ranked gear, and you know, you get points by uh, obtaining gear, that's in this whole section. So pretty much what you do with this currency, the 25, is, well actually, before, you, before, we, even go, before we go into that, Every time you complete one of these objectives, like earn 5,000 points, I haven't done that yet, but when I do, I just come over here and, and tap on claim, and then you're done. Now, with the currency, which I didn't know when I first started, is you can go to this, the chest place, whenever it pops up. Oh? Oh. Yeah, uh, not interested, thank you. Anyways, there's gear, accessory, costumes, gold. You go to the events, and then you can get, um, you know, basically free gear. This one's costumes, which is very nice, because in this game you don't get costumes very often. It's very hard to get. Oh, I'm sorry, my boring you lady. Weirdo. Anyways. Are you done? Anyway, so. Um, costumes are very hard to get. You get, um, um... What, like, like, you get a free chest, uh, here, every three days. I know it says two days, but, you know, three days. Um, you can also get them through, I guess, uh... Alright, bye, bye. We don't even care. Uh, you get them from certain achievements and stuff like that, too, but they're very... But, like I said before, very hard to come by. So, that's the events. Alright, cool. Alright, so the next thing I want to touch on is the PvE content. So, 
Let's go to adventure mode. Now, this is something I think everyone knows, but I'm just gonna throw it in there just in case. But make sure you try to get uh, three stars on all the stages. I mean, if you can't do it, that's fine. There's not, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Just, you know, get stronger and then go back to it and clear it. Because you get rewards here too, you know. I think you get 70,000, 20 clear tickets, uh, gear chest, B or A, which is very nice. So, you know, um, just completing all the, s all the stars, on, like per stage, is gonna help you, like, get stronger. So, something to look at. And now that we're done with that, which transitions pretty well into my next topic, which is how to improve your character, which also. If you've done, if you complete, if you had three stars on a particular you know, area, then that's perfect. Then you can do the repeat battle, the sequ or the sequential battle, which is both pretty good for trying to improve, especially when you're not trying to, especially when you're not um, like in the mood to play, but you still want to progress. Or like maybe if you're doing homework or you're playing a different video game, you can just hit repeat battle. And it'll just repeat as long as you have inventory space and like keys. So that's pretty good. Uh, the sequential battle is very nice if you, if you, I don't know, you picked up an S item from a chest, or you picked up an A, and you're on, and you're currently on stage 2 or something. You can just hit that, and it'll just take you right, right through. Kind of, except, you know, I think when you're that low, you do have to go through some tutorials later on, so... But still, it's very convenient, It's basically the point. It's a very great way to level. Um, as for instant clear tickets... I would suggest that you use them, like save them up for, um, like when you really need it. Like maybe for a weekly quest, um, you just don't have time. You're like, oh, like ten minutes before, before the quest ends, before like that week's quest ends, and like you get tomorrow or not, not or not that week, like that day's quest, you get another one to start. So I hope that wasn't confusing. Anyways. You know, another one is like for the events. Sometimes you get events like 20% uh, increase to gold and EXP. It's a great way to use tickets to try to get like the most out of that um, time. So, and then gold as well, you know, like, the essences is always nice to have. Although I always save essences until you can get to like the very, like the last, the very last stage because you can get the most out of that. Because I think, um, when you do, well, the last stage, you're like 20, 20, 31, you know, 13 and 16 on the colored chest, on, on the colored stones, or essences, and then, you know, if you're on 12, it's a, it's a lot less. Not, yeah, it's a lot less. So that's something, so that's probably when you want to use the, the uh, essences, and, yeah. So... Really, let's try to get back on topic. How to improve your character. Alright. So, let's see. I think in order to explain that. Actually, I guess before I even get to that, we'll explain like where to farm. Which I kinda already covered. Oh no, no I didn't. Okay, so the big question is I think that a lot of people are, are wondering or asked is like um, where is the farming spot? Like, what's the best place to farm? And for that, this game is very different compared to a lot of other games. There, you don't, there's not like a particular stage that you want to farm, unless you like you need essence. But really, what you're chase, what you're farming for is the essence, which is uh, the stones right here, the red one, you know, and that rainbow-looking thing over there. That's pretty much what you're trying to farm. If you're trying to, you know, if you're gonna go with that grindy path, then that's what I would suggest. Whatever stone you need is what I would suggest. Is what is where I would suggest you farm. And because like the experience isn't really that much, really. Yeah, it's really not that much. So trying trying to go for the highest, the most amount of exp. It's not really going to help you as much as trying to get the essences. Which you can then use, I believe it's over here, to power this up. Now this uh, max level goes up to uh, 200, so 
a long ways to go. In the beginning, it's not going to be, it's not going to cost you, you know, as much as it is here. For instance, I have 337 red red stones, and for one for one level in that particular step, which is the attack, it's 78. And for the rainbow ones, I have 3,062, and I only need 155 to get one level. So that's something to think about. And in the beginning, it's only like, I think like three, three red stones and like five rainbow stones or something like that, or three, I don't know, it's very low, but it, it, it kind of goes together with what stage you're playing anyway, so it, it works out. It's a very smooth progress. Alright, so now that we do that, so this is pretty much how you're going to enhance your character. Now, I know that you know, you're not really bumping that many stats, but it's all going to add up eventually. That's pretty much how you get to this power level, too. You just do this, and you slowly progress. There's no need to rush it. And uh, speaking on that, no need to rush. There's also no need to rush. There's no need to power up to 60. Like, it's not that important in this game compared to other games. And the reason being for that is because if we go into the gear section, um, none of my gear actually has like a minimum requirement for a level. So really, you can have ex uh, for instance, you can have the sword at level one, and you know, pretty much, it's like getting end game gear at the very be at the very beginning of your game, which is pretty sick. I, I think the idea is really nice. It kind of eliminates the, I guess, the rush to hit level cap. And, you know, you can open up chests, which means, yeah. Yeah, which means you can open up chests um, at level 1 if you have if you have the gems for it. And stuff like that. Um, so... But, like I was saying, it's a really cool idea. So yeah, basically, what I was trying to say is just farm for essences. Everything else just comes naturally. It doesn't really matter what stage you farm. Just farm the highest level stage that you can farm. You know, um, because really, we, when you farm the adventure stages, you're getting um, you get experience, you're getting gold, you're getting essences, you're getting uh, item or not items, you're getting like fodder gear, so you can level up your your main gear or your primary gear, whatever you want to call it, and eventually you'll climb. Now, if you're if you're stuck on a particular area, you know you don't want to do all that, or you know whatever or whatever the case might be. Like maybe you ran out of keys. I think that's a plausible example. But yeah, if you run out of keys or you know whatever it is, you just can't seem to move forward. Maybe you, know, you can't upgrade your weapons for some reason. Um, what I would then suggest is maybe look into start leveling up a different character. In this game, it's actually very beneficial to have four characters. <laughs> Crazy, I know. It sounds like a lot of work. It is definitely a lot of work. It's, yeah, it's not much else to say about that, but I'll explain. Um, actually, I can explain that right now. All right, so with the characters, you get a multi-character boost, which I will hope to show you right here. Yeah, so you get the multi-character stat boost, it's like 4.3%. Because of that, because I have all, all these other characters opened up, my power level is has gone up to like 37, has gone up 37,000, almost 38,000. My attack has gone up 2,500, defense 12,000, HP 3,000, almost and stuff like that. So like, by leveling up other characters, you're actually improving your main character too. Which is very beneficial, and believe it or not, this is actually a great way to also farm for gems. Which I'll go a little bit, which I'll cover a little bit more um, later on in the video. But yeah. And I'll, I'll also explain the other benefits to having four other characters in a second. I just kind of want to go through that. Alright. Now, I think the next topic that we want to discuss is gear. Which I think you guys already know, but just in case. Alright. 
Okay, so now let's get into gear and how to upgrade them. Now there's two methods to upgrading them. Uh, the first one is going to be probably the one that you're going to be doing the most, which is Fuse. Um, as it kind of sounds, just take two pieces of gear that are of the same rank and max leveled, and then you can upgrade them to the next rank. So for instance, um, do I have an example actually? So yeah, um, <clears throat> if I get both of these swords that are rank B, and I max them out, and I fuse them, then they'll become a rank A. And you know, two rank A's max out will give you rank S, which currently is the highest rank. Alright, gotta get some water. So, um, this is gonna be the main method that you're going to um, enhance or like upgrade gear because it's very, it's very easy to do. You're you're kind of already working towards this every time you complete a stage. So, you know, this is the best way to go. Also, yeah, and. It's, and I guess we'll go into upgrade next. Upgrading is a little bit different, or a lot of difference. Uh, upgrading, you only have to get one of these, or like, like one of these gears. Is that right? That sounds weird. Anyways, you get one of them, you max up, or you max it out, and then you can just hit upgrade. And this will take stones instead. Now these stones are actually very hard to get. Uh, maybe once you hit like the, well, there's a few ways to get them. I believe you can get them. Um, whoops. I think you might be able to buy them in the guild shop. <clears throat> we'll double check that though. Guild shop. Nope. I. I think I'm wrong. Yes, I am wrong. Um. You can definitely buy them somewhere. I think it's. Camp. With apples? Maybe? I've seen it. I've. I know that you can buy them somewhere. Oh, I bet you it's the ether. It's the uh, pay to win currency. Basically. Okay, let's go away. Go away. Yeah, so really, that's the only place. That, or not the only place. That, that's one of the places you, you can buy them with, with ether which you can find in the uh, shop and another and the other way to get it is through daily dungeons right here so in the beginning you can get two per day and then you know once you hit this milestone and eventually at the very end you can get 10 10 per day uh, each day will determine which stone you're going to get that day I believe Sunday you get 15 stones, um, and I think it's three colors, so not bad, but still, it's still not going to be very easy to obtain, you can't obtain a lot, so that's, so that's upgrading, and I think now we're going to explain <clears throat> the differences between the two, and why you want to go with fusing. So, there's two things. For one, uh, like I said before, fusing is just a lot faster. It's easier to do until until you hit like you know rank A and S. Uh, obviously, when, once you hit rank S, you don't really need to fuse anymore. Like you won. Like it's over, pretty much. Just max it out and you're done with that particular gear. Um, but another main difference between upgrading and fusing is when you fuse, like, like for instance, we have the Adept, and then we have a Slayer. And now these are like two. Uh, now these belong to two different types of sets. And when you when you uh, when you fuse, you're you're going. So like for instance, if you're fusing um, uh, two B rank swords, for instance, we'll take that for example. You're gonna get a A rank, but it's not gonna be like a slayer or like an adept or anything. It's gonna be like a random it's gonna be a random set. Like we don't know what we're gonna get, but we know we're gonna get a sword that is an A rank. That's all we know, the rest is random. Hope that makes sense. Yeah, yeah I really hope it does. 
you know, like in the depths, and then a Slayer, Huntress. So yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, let's say you were gonna do. So let's say you were gonna do the Huntress dual swords. Like you max this out to, I believe this goes up to 50, and then you also did the Slayer dual swords. Or it doesn't really matter what the other one is. It, it just has to be two swords. And when you get fuse, you're gonna get a random sword that's gonna be rank uh, S. But we don't know what set it's gonna belong to. I hope that made sense. Anyways, um, for upgrading though, upgrading will retain the, the set and will also go up to S. Or will also go up one rank. That's So that's the main difference between Fuse and Upgrade. Um, I would not recommend upgrading if, you know, you're, you know, if you're trying to, uh, I, I don't know. Man, did that make sense? <clears throat> well, I, I can actually give you an example of this later, of, of what I mean. Now, there is um, there is a very interesting thing, and this is only done with um, accessories. You know, like for normal weapon, like for weapons and armor, uh, when you fuse, you need like two, like two head pieces. To upgrade to another to a higher rank headpiece, but for accessories, that's actually a little different. Which, sadly, I cannot explain. I cannot. Well, I can explain it, but I can't show you. But I can show you what I meant, meant by fuse, I guess. Yeah. All right. Whatever. Well, I'll just fuse this. So show show you guys what it's all about. Really should pick the other one. So this is orcish necklace and another orcish necklace. And fuse it to an A rank. Let's see what we got here. We got an Iron Guard. See? No, no he laughed every time. But yeah, so you get a whole different. So you get a completely new set every time you fuse. Which is very good when you're fishing for like a particular set. So for instance. Uh, if I was, if you were to go with an Iron Guard set, this is perfect. And then, if you wanted to get this to an S, but you want to keep the Iron Guard name, then you would just use stones instead, so that you can keep it. And I'll actually show that to you too. I actually leveled up a piece of armor that I want to do. Or not? Yeah. <clears throat> um. Yeah. So this one is going to be upgraded. So it's the Lilith Helm, and I'm going to do this. See? It retains the set name. And now it's S, so that's pretty cool. Alright, now I got two S ranks, and just complete another mission. Alright, so that's the big differences between the two. Um, personal advice, um, do not use zones, save them. Um, for this very moment, you know, just use them to get to S. So from A to S, that is when I'll use stones. Unless, I guess, maybe you got a B rank, I don't know, whatever set you wanted and you want to keep it, then I, yeah, then you can use stones. If you found the set that you want, then use stones for it. But otherwise, don't. Just fuse. But, yeah. I mean, sets isn't really a big deal, by the way. I mean, once you get to, like, endgame, like, really far into endgame, like, where sets really, where, like, every little thing matters, sure. But, I mean, currently, even, like, the number one player doesn't have full set. So, you know, and a lot of people now are just kind of, they're, they're just trying to rush power level, so they're not really worried about set. And there are a handful of people, and there are people, not a handful, there are people, like me, that are actually fishing for a particular set, and I'll show you where to find this. Uh, it's in Glamour, under items, and this is your... This is kind of where it shows all the gear you can get. This is the Lilith. 
dual swords, and then down below is actually the set that I'm really looking for, which is the PvP set. Now, the difference between PvP sets and just the regular ones just because it has PvP stats. For instance, PvP crit rate, 6% at the very bottom, and I'll t it's like when when opponent's HP is below 30, your damage is increased by 25%, which is really nice. And the regular one, instead of that, it's just um, attack increase 4%, which is still really good, but, you know, the other one's the other one's better. You, you you could argue at least. Well, I, I guess I wouldn't say better. This is better for PvP specifically, but I mean it's still good. Like you can still take take a PvP set into a PVE content, and you'll be f and for the most part you'll be earn. Yeah, for the most part you're gonna be fine. So, you know, you just browse through here. And until I think this one's the adept. You get I think once you get two two items, two gear sets, you get defense three. You get stun, and then the fourth one you get crit damage as well. So that's kind of the benefits of going with sets. But really, in the end, it's up to you whether or not you want to chase for that. At the moment, it really doesn't matter if you go for a set or not. I mean, the number one player. Which I guess we can look at right now, huh? I wish I knew how to do that. I will find this for you guys, I promise. Ah, Hall of Power, that's where we went. Yeah, Zen, strongest player currently. Or strongest hero. So let's take a look at his stats real quick. Or what, or not stats, but like his gear. Rank list. Uh, Fo Chan was like the number one guy for at the beginning. So we'll go ahead and check this guy out. Looks like PvP Lilith set. Celeste. Uh, this one, another one. And then this one's Celeste. I guess he's got. Oh, okay. They're, these two aren't the same set. This one. These two are the, uh, the chest and the cape are one set. This is a PvP set, so it's it doesn't go with the rest. That's why. Yeah. So he's kind of mix matching too. So and he's number ones. So it just goes to show that you don't have to go for a full set to be number one. It just just offers you something that the other ones don't. But yeah. All right. So now that we're done with. All right, so next thing I want to discuss is like the, uh, I guess the gems, not the currency, but where is it? Oh, uh, jewels. There we go. Sorry, sorry. Jewels. So you can upgrade these whenever you can. You need, like you said, five to upgrade them to the next grade. I think you need five, like not five. You need five of one particular set, so like five B grade or B rank ruby attack. You need five exactly five of those. You can upgrade them to an A. Of those, give you an S. And you can also fuse like everything else. And I don't have any, so we won't be able to. But that's how you would do it. Uh, these offer you a, a lot, a lot of. Uh, they offer you a boost in power. Uh, they increase certain stats. For instance, uh, you can do. Uh, Crit rate, crit damage, HP, defense. Um, they, I want to say there's something for yeah. There's PVP stuff. There's health, uh, knock, uh, knockback recovery, and stuff like that. There's stun, rec stun recovery, uh, just things of that sort. So you know, make sure so make sure that you use them on, on the on the items that you're using. They'll, they'll definitely help you out. And uh, actually, something that I forgot to mention beforehand is costumes. Costumes is pretty much a. S it's kind of like a second set that you're also wearing. It's costumes. Like, like what can I say? Um, this will also offer you stats, you know. Like, this like, dual wheel increases my attack by that much, by 13,000. Now, when I remove this, I lose 91,000. 
of my power level. So, just to give you an idea, these things boost your character level, or power level, by a lot. Especially when you get all of them. I think I'm still missing two pieces, and I think I have three, three currently that aren't even leveled at all, so... So I would highly encourage you to uh, try to get as many costumes as you can. I think we'll go on to the next topic of, like, how to spend your gems. Or what to spend your gems on. And currently, the best way to the best way to spend your gems is actually buying costumes. Did I discuss this already? I might have. But just in case I didn't. I think she says I, I discussed this already. I really wish she didn't talk. Oh wait, no, I, I discussed that they're hard to get. Right. Okay, so yeah, that's all that's pretty much why you want costumes. They're, they're really hard to get. So yeah. Also, uh interesting thing to know, uh, says when you buy ten. It is so difficult. Anyways, when you buy 10, you're guaranteed an A rank costume, which is true. But what they don't tell you is you can actually pull an S from this uh, chest. I've pulled, um, I think the, the S's that, that you saw in my costumes, the sword and I think the, the chest piece, I, d I just pulled from this. I didn't fuse or anything. So yeah, I would highly recommend that you go for this chest too. It definitely boosts up your level, it helps you get out of that, you know, if, like this, the rut, like when you're like when you're stuck in that particular power level when you can't move forward, this is a great way to go. <clears throat> um, yeah, she keeps eating honey and it's throwing me off. I don't like it. So yeah, you can definitely get S from here. I've done it twice, three times actually. Um, accessories I've never purchased before. They say, say you're guaranteed a B. Um, I think they also see that for gear. Now gear, I actually I actually have opened I think at least twice, and I have gotten A's before. I think I have a sword that has an A rank, but I just haven't leveled it. Like I said, I'm fishing for sets. I'm, I'm fishing for a particular set, which I wish I had any of. That. But that's pretty much the end of that. Now I guess. Once you're done with incest or once you're done with the costumes, you might, if you're fishing for sets like me, gear is a great option too. I mean, you can still get the B ranks, which you know you can just upgrade and fuse them yourself and try and then try to improve your chances of getting whatever set you're, you're looking for. All right, so now that we've discussed um, one place where you can spend your gems, or where you should spend your gems, we're going to touch on the other area, which is the blacksmith. Now, blacksmith is a very uh, beneficial place to spend your points because for polishes, polishes are basically upgrading materials. They upgrade things uh, more efficiently and just better overall, as opposed to your normal pieces of gear. So definitely try to use these as much as, as much as possible. Don't try to save them. I mean, if you have a legendary. Maybe, but I mean, it's up to you, really. So, yeah, this is a great place to do it. Um, right now, we're currently at level 10 for mine. Uh, I think the max level is 25. I don't know how much it costs. It's not like it's 300 Chris or gems every single time. It's gonna go up per per level. I think when you start out, it's actually pretty expensive. I think, I think it was like 70,000 or 100,000 or something like that. I'm pretty sure it's how much it costs. It's pretty expensive. I'm not sure if this transfers to the other characters. Like, if all four characters will have the same level blacksmith, or do you have to level them up individually? I'm not sure, but if you know, leave it in the comments below. But I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that uh, blacksmith is not a linked thing. Which, uh, speaking about linked things, <clears throat> um. Well, actually, before that, we'll discuss um, how to. Oh, we never discussed how to get gems. All right. So the next thing that I want to touch on is how to get gems. I think this is probably the 
big one that everyone wants to know, but it's pretty simple. There's no trick or anything to it. You, you just simply... Well, actually, before I get to that, I'll just go to the basics here. We'll go to the weekly quest. Now, uh, this is a great place to... Uh, actually, to... to uh, make progress? Why was that so hard to say? I don't know. Pretty much this is great for um, progression. So what you get from this is, well you get 15 uh, weekly missions a day and they reset, they reset at midnight. And when you completed 70 of these missions you get 700 gems and like a whole bunch of other great stuff here so that's pretty beneficial. That's 700 gems per week. Which is great. Also weekly missions uh, they offer a ton of experience. If you complete all 15, it's pretty much a level. So, that's so something to look forward to. They offer you a ton of gold. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just something that, that you want to do. It kind of keeps you on your... It kind of keeps you on the right track, basically. Now, aside from this, you also have dailies, which will give you 100 gems per day. So, 700 a week. Add them up, it's 1,400 per week. That's the maximum that you can get per character consistently. So, so that's something to do. Now, if you want to go further than that, uh, consider creating four characters. All of them, you know, doing their daily quest and their weekly quest. <clears throat> you can almost buy two, like two ten packs of chest per, like, like per week. So that's pretty awesome. Or you can even spend them. Uh, somewhere else. For instance, you can go to Blacksmith. Alright, so, so as I've discussed previously, um, creating four characters is going to be the best way to actually get gems. For, like I already said, you get like, what, two boxes? Or two, you can purchase two ten packs. It's about 20 boxes almost a week. I mean, to make up for the extra, the, to make up the difference, you just go to PvP and stuff like that. So you can easily get like 6,000 6, gems per week. Yeah. So not bad. Oh, well, I, I mean, it depends on how high you are in PvP, but you can get diamonds, or gems, in PvP, so... That's not that bad. So you, you can easily make up the 400 pretty easily if you just do the PvP stuff. You don't have to do like the duel or team thing or anything like that. You can still get the 6,000 just by doing the rank or the ranks, I believe. We get it. This, I believe, it's ranked PVP, which is the easiest one to do because I don't think because it's not AI, or I mean, it's not human versus human. It's human versus AI. So yeah, ranked match. I think I already collected the reward on this one. But, let me see, yeah, rank 1, 250, we're probably not going to get any of this. Top 5% though, which is not that hard to do in this one, is, well, depending on your power level and your skill, I guess. But, I mean, you get these pretty frequently though. Top 30 at least, I, I, oh, probably not that hard to get. But, I mean, aside from that, there's also, um other ways of doing it. For instance, um, raid, you can actually get some, oh, I mean, this is one time of opportunities, but there's also challenges here. You know, for instance, defeat target one time, uh, defeat enemy within 120 seconds, clear with 10,000 damage or, or fewer. I worried that wrong. But if you complete all those, or defeat without taking damage, you get 500 gems right off the bat, so. I mean, you know, and each one, each of these uh, levels will have, will have their own set, but like different conditions, so. I think there's also one more. Just gotta load up. Alright, so, the next spot will also be your main quest. What is it? For instance, this one will give you 900 gems. Upon completion, and I actually already completed it, so I guess we'll just take it. Why not? Sweet! Life for expansion slot, nice. And this is the next one. I think there's 12 of 12 in total, 
but you know, each, each one will give you a certain amount of gems, 200, 100, 300, oh, it just keeps going. Alright, well that makes sense. So yeah, um, these are very easy to, to complete, so you don't really have to go out of your way to do it, I think that's what makes this so great. You know, it's just, just play the game and eventually y'all get all, all of them, so, yeah. That's another great way to get some quick gems. Um, yeah, I think that's all the ways that you can get gems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now that we're done with that. Alright, so I think the final topic that we're gonna discuss is... Did I already discuss the benefits of characters? Whatever, we're gonna discuss it anyway. So, anyways... So the, so the benefits of having multiple characters is for camps, for starters. Which, um... You will need, well, you can have one, but it's obviously going to be better the more the more uh, characters that you have. So for instance, you can have two people farm for, you know, apples, which is a currency in here. And you can have the other two farm for gold. You know, if you're ever running, if you're ever, yeah, if you're ever running low on gold, this is, a, this is a great place to go. Granted, you can also steal other people's uh, stuff too. And having four players here, or having four characters here will also increase the defense, so when they so when people come in to attack you, you have a better chance of living. So, take that into an account. Now, let's see, with this currency, I can up actually upgrade the camp. So I guess we'll take care of that. Now, camp shop is where you all spend your apples. And buy extraction tickets, which is used for like glamour and stuff like that. Um, you get chests, essences, uh, rank A great uh, jade necklace piece. Not sure. B weapon, large essences. Yeah, so that's pretty much what you're spending it on when you're not upgrading. And resources, you know, you have two people farming for, for food. You have 9,000 per hour, which is pretty nice. Gold, 14,000 per hour. I mean, come on, it's free gold, basically. Why not take advantage of this? Let's see. Now, like I said, you can also attack other people to get more loot, so... If you're bored, this is not a bad way to spend your time. Although, it's kind of hard to be bored in this game, at least for me. Just because there's so much to like enhance and upgrade. There's so much stuff I, I want to do. Especially now that I opened up four characters, it's really, like just doing the just keeping up with the daily quests and the weekly quests is pretty time consuming to say the least. At least for me. There are faster ways of going about it though. Oh. Cool. I did not know that. Alright. Alright, so aside from, you know, that, you know, the camp, um and gems, you're like getting the, the additional gems. Something that we should also take note is gems are actually shared, which is why I brought up four characters and gems. I probably should have brought that up beforehand. But like gems that you get from other characters are like all the like like the gems are shared between all characters. It's, is basically what I was saying. Actually, another thing that's shared is your inventory. It is shared. <clears throat> so you can actually go with a. So it's kind of like um. A funnel strats, if you're familiar with Leap. Um, pretty much uh, all your other three characters will like farm, you know, they'll get their first time loots, they'll get their first time gems, uh, chests, and, and, and whatever. And then, and then you don't open them over there, you instead um, jump onto your uh, main character and you can, and then he opens up everything, so he gets all, of, all the loots. So, that's actually a very nice strategy, so that'll actually help you boost up overall it's um more f it's more efficient than focusing on just one character because at some point you're gonna, you're gonna hit well you're gonna hit a couple of walls as as your power level go goes up so it's this is a nice having four characters is, is a nice break between everything so yeah all right so I think that's about it on that all right so I think that's all that I wanted to cover in this uh, video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something, um, especially to the beginners. 
I, I, I haven't found too many videos on this, so that's pretty much the main reason why I made it. Um, if, you, if you're a veteran player and you're watching this, um, I hope this did something for you. I, I don't know. Actually, this is kind of off topic, but um, there's something that I was curious about. Or something, or not curious about, it's something I thought was um, a little odd. Which is this, actually. <clears throat> so, I most of this stuff I don't have to explain. Like, this is damage, this is defense. But this is what I'm curious about. Damage decrease. It doesn't really explain what it is. Now this is why. Now here's why. And like I know, dam like I know what damage decrease means, but I've always assumed that's what uh, defense was. Like the defense stats, like HP. You know, like when you level it up, will increase your HP, will increase your health. But when you increase defense, you're increase your inc your uh, like what defense does basically is cuts down on the damage. That the opponent does to you, which makes you wonder then what's damage decrease? Like why, it, or not what it is, but why is there two types of defense? That's something I never really understood. Like I feel like they should have just, like I kind of wish this was uh, crit damage instead of damage decrease. I feel like that would have made a little bit more sense. Like, why have two defenses? All right. But anyways, uh, if you have answers for that, so uh, just leave in the comments below. I I love reading them whenever I get them. Granted, they're rare and few and far in between. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, guys. Peace out.